and the workshop <laughs> is starting in a minute, so we're running really, really late. <laughs> happy saturday to every single one of you your boy has just woken up we have got a huge day ahead with the workshop happening a little later on it's time to get some coffee and we're gonna take today from there this morning's been crazy it would be an understatement it's been nuts everything is packed though headed over now from blowbook into the center of cape town to a place called the vna waterfront they have a subsection there called the watershed that's where the workshop is being hosted this morning today's workshop is all about content creation on social media so that's inclusive of platforms of facebook instagram twitter youtube etc that's what we're going to be talking on we have two really dope bad attackers who are attending today i'm going to be filming the full thing so that will also go live as a separate video on both youtube and facebook which i'm excited about you guys to see. I've arrived at the VNA. There's normally a bridge over there that operates that you can walk on, but it is currently, I think, being renovated, so we're waiting for a ferry. And the workshop <laughs> is starting in a minute, so we're running really, really late. <laughs> That was a massively successful workshop. I want to say a big thank you to the mad attackers who came through for that. Headed over now from, God damn, this road is bumpy. I headed over now from Cape Town back into Blowboat. I need to run a couple of errands and then I've got a ton of editing to do this afternoon. This weather is hella weird. There's so much mist today. Just finished up errands at Table Bay Mall. Headed back to the house now. Everything's been going really, really good today. It's been super productive and it's only 2.30. Just had a shower with the freshen up and I'm about to switch on my Mac and get back to work. <laughs> Part of the episode where I take one question from one of you guys and I answer it. Today's question comes in from Alexandra and she says, how do you not let your family tell you how to live your life while you're trying to follow your dream? This is a very odd question for me to answer because I don't know your specific dynamic. For me personally, the closest people to me are supportive of my dream. There are family who, who are close family in terms of like, not like a great aunt or great uncle who when I first decided to go into modeling, influencing, YouTubing, whatever you want to call it, they had their doubts there's some still to this day who have their doubts and you know what fuck them if they don't believe in me i don't have time to waste for that i can't speak on your situation because i don't know what the dynamic is like but how do you get them I don't want to fuck this up, hold on. How do you not let your family tell you how to live your life? Look, if you are still living with your family, if you are still dependent on them financially, it's going to make things difficult because if you're living under the same roof as the people who are paying your bills, it's hard for you to say, hey, fuck you, I'm going to do what I want. So my advice to you would be this. Financially free yourself, get a job and move the fuck out. Get out of that negative situation. If you're still in school, if you're still in high school, because I want this to add value to everyone who's watching this, you might just have to bite your tongue, do what is expected of you get good grades continue studying and then use as much time as you can to not watch fucking series to not go out with your friends and to rather push your goal to rather hustle for what it is that you want in life if you are in a position where you are able to get a job without like if you're not in high school something like that do that move out because when you're not in a situation that you can be influenced by other people, like I'm talking in, clo in close proximity, yeah? when you're living with the people who are telling you, oh no, no, we don't support what you're doing, etc. If you're not financially dependent on them, then it's kind of a, well, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to kind of situation, and you can do whatever you want to. The other big point that I'm gonna put in here is somebody's opinion of you cannot matter to you unless you value it. Think about that. If you don't actually give a shit about what those people think, then their opinion doesn't matter. And that is something that you decide for yourself, whether that is your lover, whether that is your aunt, whether that is your mom, whether that is your dad, your brother, your sister, whoever it is, they cannot have impact, they cannot have value, their opinion will not matter unless you validate it, unless you give it power. So you need to assess that for yourself. And then I think a huge, huge point is this. It is better for you to make your loved ones or the people around you unhappy on the short term by not doing what they want you to do, right? Which is often they're living vicariously through you, they want to push whatever their goals were on to you it's better to say fuck you i'm doing whatever i want to become a success in that be happy 
and then they will in turn be happy for you because you'll be doing what you love and you'll be successful at it. And if you don't do that, if you don't choose to stub them on the short term and do and follow your passion, you're going to end up in the long term resenting them and that is not good for the relationship, whatever that relationship is. So I hope that answers it. It is a big question. It's an important one. I hope that in some way I added value. Just realize that you're more powerful than you think you are and you have the decision, you can make that choice. And don't let anybody ever say you can't, especially yourself, because often people are like that. They, they think that they can't do it. They think that they're less powerful. It's easier to go into complaining and feeling oh, bad for yourself vibe, which is pathetic. You have a lot more. And when I'm saying pathetic, I'm not attacking you. I'm trying to get it through your head that you have power to make the decision to achieve what the fuck you want to achieve. Yeah, I hope that it adds value. It's a great question. While I'm on this heated note, if any of you have any questions at all, comment them down below. I'm choosing one of these to answer every single day. All right, back to the episode. Boy, he's starting to work on the workshop video from earlier today, putting it all into iMovie currently. I'm gonna be working on this bad boy right now. Edited six minutes, 37 out of 55 minutes and seven seconds, but making some really, really good progress. And if you look over here, I'm adding in certain things that I referenced within the workshop itself to try and add more value to you guys who are watching this video on its own. Made some decent progress with the editing. Saturday boxing session, let's go. I wanted to check with you guys quickly. I'm back home, just had a shower. I'm gonna head downstairs, get some dinner, and then I will continue pushing working off today. I've got a lot to do. I wanna edit the workshop video and get live today. Back to the editing. Just want to show you guys that it is still freaking exporting. I honestly cannot recall if I've said this or not, so I'm just gonna put it in here while the vlog is still exp ah, not vlog, sorry, while the video is still exporting. Earlier today, I got an email back from Amazon Direct Publishing. The paperback version of my book is officially live. It's available for purchase throughout the world. I think there are certain territories, meaning countries or places, that they're still updating it. And then I also just want to say a big thank you because one of you, Matt Attackers, Anna, literally within seconds of it going <laughs> live as a paperback has purchased the first first copy so a big thank you to her big thank you to everyone who has supported the book and this launch it means so so much to me what I'm doing now currently is just sending DMs to everybody who said that they didn't want an ebook copy but they wanted a paperback copy now I need to let them know that the paperback copy is available yo that's not good news I think I ran out of space on my computer the plan of action moving forward because it's already seven minutes to midnight and I am shattered so I'm gonna try and re-export that bad boy tomorrow and then I'll upload it on to YouTube and get live to you guys I'm very excited for you to see it I want to say a big thank you to taking the time of your day to watch this. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your support. I will catch each and every one of you beautiful mad attackers in another 24 hours. Guys, go hustle, go grab, and I'll see you then. Peace.